my classic cart. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're out on Cape Cod in Hyannis, Mass, for their Father's Day car show. This is a beautiful event right on Main Street. They pull in about 350, 400 cars, 70,000 people. This is a really historic area, JFK. Pretty cool. And today, there's some really awesome cars. Let's check them out. You guys got it going on. Chris, how you doing, man? Good, Dennis. How are you doing today? I'm loving Hyannis on Father's Day. This is beautiful, man. This is the place to be if you're a car guy. It is. And, you know, I mean, Cape Cod in general, what a what a spectacular part of the country. It is. It's beautiful here. This, this is our, our slice of heaven. I mean, it's just gorgeous. We've got the perfect venue. Main Street Hyannis. We've got 400 plus cars, hot rods, 70,000 people. It's unbelievable. That's what amazes me. This starts early. You know, I mean, uh, people are rolling in here at, I don't know, 4 or 5 in the morning. You start up at 8 because you got to let everybody go about 2.30. But it was swarmed almost immediately. I'm not breaking any speed records today. A little bit crowded here. But what a ride. People wait for this show, they, and they come from all over New England, East Coast, Virginia, Florida. Last year we had a couple of cars from British Columbia. So how long have you been doing it? 19 years. Really? This is our 19th year, so. So, so you really, I mean, the, the, the town must really embrace it. You they know, do. Because, you know, you can't do this if you don't have the support of the town. The highest Area Chamber of Commerce puts on this event, and without our support, their support, this wouldn't happen. Absolutely. So. This is really kind of a club event, too, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a lot of clubs that come, too. So we've got Cape Cod Classics, and there's a bunch of other clubs. You know, the guys all come, 10 or 12 together, and uh, there's a car club from Rhode Island that drove up. There's, what, about 15 of them? So oh, man. it's well, really and, cool. And even last night, you had this, you know, the, kind of the VIP, the kind of welcome here. That yep. was fun. I had a good time there. Now this is riding in style. Very, very nice. A little car show yeah. behind the JFK Museum. I mean, Cape Cod Classics, that's their dash plaque night. And yeah, we have the VIP night for the participants to come. And we have hors d'oeuvres and, and drinks and uh, car guys. And we talk about cars. Well, I'm telling you, it's a great show. And you know, what a, what a great way to spend Father's Day. Isn't it's, it? This is magnificent. There are some great cars here. It's getting pretty busy. Let's check a few of them out. In fact, this one right here is one you need to see. Caddy Town Car, 61. You don't see these, man. It's one of three. Dan, this is a gorgeous car. I love these Zephyrs. This is a, this is a what, a 40, right? That's correct. And this is a three-window coupe. Cool. Well, you know, you don't see them. No, you don't. What a gorgeous well, front thank end. You. Thank I mean, you. That, thank that, you. that grill, fabulous. Thank and you. it really doesn't look like you modified the body much here. No, I haven't. Oh, no, man. I've left it uh, just the way it should be. And I love the color scheme, too. It really, it seems to work on this car big time. What do you got? It's a it's, uh, cranberry and silver, uh, champagne, they champagne. call it. Oh, very nice. Right. Yeah. You've obviously dropped it down. Is it on air, or, or did you? No, it's just uh, just the way it's. This is the ride. Yeah, height? yeah. Well, no, it's, it's got a heights front end on it. Uh, okay, but she, you don't lift it up to ride. No, she, don't. This... That's just where she sits. Man, you got to be careful of speed bumps I with do. this baby. I'm very, uh, <laughs> These are the original. Uh, uh, yeah, original headline. everything. Yeah. Gosh, with and that, is that a uh, turn signal. Yes, that's a turn signal. Jeez, yeah. that is gorgeous, right. man. And the interior is gorgeous. Leather, I guess. Yes, it is. Now, that was the original placement of the gauge, but it was one big speedometer, wasn't it? That's correct. And then we just I, I just cocked, cocked it. A bit. it. Yep. And yep. then uh, those look like autometers or something, so you can kind of see what's really going on. Yes. <laughs> That's kind of nice. And I like the wheel, too. That's uh, kind of a you know classic style banjo, but I don't know what the wood is, but she's. It's supposed to be walnut, you know. Uh, yeah. The, that's pretty, man. Thank you. Man, that's really right. And the thing that I love about this car is just how long this rear is. I mean, it's just whoosh, you know, yep. swoops down. And are those the, the 40 tail lights? That's the 40 tail lights. Exactly. And were they sunk in? Yeah, like that? they've been Frenched in. So this would originally had a V12, in it, right? That's Flathead, correct. Flathead V12, I think. That's right? correct. But you've updated that too? To, to a 460 Lincoln. Oh, how nice. Let's go yeah. look at that baby. Okay. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> that's that's real pretty. <laughs> Thank you. So he carried the cranberry and champagne through in here. And that's correct. Custom uh, valve covers? Yes, they are the custom. That looks great in there. Oh, now the thank venting, you. Like, you got the gills and the fender wells with that. They were stock. No kidding. That is stock, yeah. Wow. Because those V12s uh, used to run real hot. They did, yeah. yeah. Wow, and I just noticed this too. You smoothed the underside here. This is a, I mean, that's beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, that just gives it a little more. It's and clean, very clean. clean. Yeah. Dan, this is gorgeous. Thank 40 you. Lincoln 
Zephyr, three window, window coupe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what a car, man. Right. Thank you, Dennis. Brian, this is an insane bug. You know, I mean, a lot of people, you know, will rod bugs and, you know, they'll chop them, they'll do whatever, but, but boy, this is a, uh, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do quite what you did to this baby. Your suspension, I mean, is this is this all custom or is this V-dub or what? It's stock V-W all around. It's just been highly modified. It has uh, drop adjusters in the front end to allow it to sit down lower to the ground. It's down there, man. Exactly. Hand built all these little, I just call them gills. They're just a little speed grill to make them uh -huh. kind of have a little look to it. Kind of get the roundness off the uh -huh. nose a little. little. Some little LED driving lights. Uh, little LED turn signals in here, uh, custom made little headlight bars, and these are actually little nap retractor lights that oh, little okay. five inch tractor <laughs> lights. It's got well, a three and a half inch chop. Is this all fiberglass or? It's all steel. It's all steel, man. Yeah. That's, that's some uh, serious forming in there. Yeah, we had to weld um, the hood shut because I wanted that smooth yeah. body line. Well, man, so three inches here, and then and this is this a lift off? It's a like yeah, a it's a Carson top that I saw on some of the vintage hot rods, and I really like the look. So I built it out of EMT tubing and I skinned it with aluminum, then did a little body filler to shape it all out. The interior is great. The seats are out of a Pontiac Fiero and they fit in the car beautifully and they still actually have the speakers in the headrest. The dash we smoothed out uh -huh. and we, just to give it that clean rod look, I did a Buick GM column in there, so I had the tilt mechanism with all the key and the ignition, uh -huh. and then basically all custom interior. I dig this thing it, it, like in every way, but I got back here and I went, is that a blower? This, this is a blown bug. We get that response a lot. Um, <laughs> people come back around the car and they say, wow, this is a really cool little hot rod. And then they come back and they go, holy cow, it's got a blower on it. And I don't think I've ever seen that. Is that a special blower for this? Or? Uh, it is a VW blower and they do not make it anymore. So what's the carb? It's a 650 Holley double pumper that's been reworked and it uses a BTM, a boost timing manager system. And the, basically the distributor now just runs the timing mechanism to run, tell the car how much boost to give it, and it runs really, really well. It's crazy, so what does it put out? We're figuring a, a conservative three and a quarter horse. <laughs> it will get away from you. You, you. We drive it with tender loving care. <laughs> and you do, I mean, you, you, you drive this baby, so it's a trailer No, no, we drive it. I'm so glad you brought it, man. That I'm is glad. one bad nice bug, Nice to meet man. you, Dennis. Right, I really thanks, appreciate man. you stopping and taking a look at it. Blown Volksrad, holy mackerel. <laughs> You know, Matt, I've been to a lot of car shows, but I gotta tell you, I think this is the first 1924 Rio school bus I've ever seen at one. And this is a family heirloom, right? Family heirloom. We use this thing, um, car shows, parades. Our family gets in it and goes out to dinner and so She runs and, and everything. She runs and we runs drive like it and uh, yeah, it really belongs in a museum, but we're not ready to release it yet. <laughs> but uh, there's a great little seat that runs down the middle and the little kids used to sit in the middle of the bus. And the big kids sat on the outside. And this is the original engine to the Original right? engine, yeah. So it's it's two separate castings, but four cylinders. Four cylinders. Two and two, right? Two and two, correct. And what's that, an updraft carb? Uh, updraft carburetor. And then there's a vented uh, thing over there that looks like a radiator or something. That's just the uh, exhaust manifold yeah. and a little cover that's on there that slides back and forth. Just gives you a little hotter air for your updraft carburetor. So you weren't system. freezing up in so the So you weren't freezing in the winter. Man, it's quite look, a uh, quite a unit. And you you guys had to restore the entire thing. Right? The entire thing, yeah. Our family um, had it in a in an old barn. It held the barn up for years, and uh, it kind of got crushed by a by a hurricane. So you had some work to do. Had had a lot of work. To do. Is is this? The gas tank? Yes, sir. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first. <laughs> it is the gas tank, and, oh. and it's full of high-octane fuel. <laughs> you know, what's interesting is that door handle is pretty much the design that's still used. It still functions that way. It's a little crusty because it's a 24, but, yeah. uh, you know, it still gets the job done. There's so, no, no three-speed trans? Three-speed transmission. And what's yeah. the button on the floor? button on the floor is a starter, electric starter. Oh, yeah. Cool, man. So, oak floor. Uh, but there's a lot of different woods in here. A lot of different woods, yes. Most of the finished trim stuff inside is all poplar. So does she have windows? Does have windows. Um, very rudimentary design. Uh, very simple. Oh, so it pops up and, and it's just gravity sitting against this angled ledge. Exactly. Yeah, and there's a beveled block inside the, the track so that it sits on that same bevel when the but window goes down. It's just, I mean, just up, down, nothing up, to it. Up, down, nothing to it. Man, it's a pretty long... Uh, 
wheelbase, actually. Yeah, it is a long wheelbase, and it was a factory extended frame. Man, as you know, the coach works really cool. And then back to your, I guess this is the emergency door? Emergency door, if you, if you would, I would guess, yeah. Now, was it actually, it wasn't really a speed wagon, was it? The body style is well, a speed, actually a speed wagon. wagon. It, is, no kidding. it is the REO speed wagon body style. Oh, um, man. Just on the school bus option. And, and can I open it? Yep, lead to the, there you go. Man, she's just, it's so cool that it's, you know, been in the family the whole time. Yeah. 1924. Yeah. One owner vehicle. A one owner REO <laughs> Speedwagon bus. First one in sandwich. Oh, man. Loved, I love the bus. Thank you very man. much. We, we love showing it off. It really <laughs> is a great piece of history. Well, Bruce, this is a sweet little ride. It's a 37 Chev? 1937 Chevy pickup truck. Love the color scheme. You remember, you remember Blackjack Gum? I do. I'm, I'm dating myself, yeah, but I do. Are, right? <laughs> this was the color scheme. It was mm -hmm. this kind of turquoise and black. This, when I saw it, I went, oh, blackjack gum. This, this exactly. is really nice, though. Now, did you redo this? This truck was uh, pretty much done in Mississippi. We did the interior over, and we did the engine over on the drivetrain uh -huh. and all. So, I mean, well, you know, she's really pretty and, and, and really not very modified, is it? It's, a, it's not much done to the body, really. Uh, the body's pretty much original, and uh, we've got a Chevy Nova front end clip on the front uh -huh. of this. But uh, the whole interior has been done over in the tuck and roll style. Yeah, and, and, and uh, again, you know, turquoise and black, and, and you know, a full complement of gauges, and I like the you know kind of the chrome uh, chrome back to that. We put the column in and uh, redid the dash and uh, put our little own uh, DNA on it, if you will, with our memorabilia from all of our shows. Yeah, well, I can see that. It's uh, heavily, heavily decorated. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And then you got the your your, your we CB got the CB radio. radio going for the long distance hauls from oh, Ponte yeah. Vedra, Florida, all the way up to Maine. So, so I mean, do you really East drive Coast. this thing? Oh, absolutely. No kidding. Absolutely. This oh, has man. never been on a trailer. So is, uh, is the running gear been updated too? We got the Chevy 350, uh, original drivetrain. Holy yeah. cow. Yep. So was, and the diamond plate was already in it? That was already in. That was ah, already you in. You know, with nice fenders too. That's really a, you know, that's a long fender. Sweeps back. There's no Chev left on the tailgate. And I love the period, you know, Florida, Connecticut, because you're, you're from Connecticut, right? Connecticut and... Uh, and then you go oh, back and forth to... Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. So you say you got a Chevy 350 in it? Chevy 350, crate motor. Let's go look at that baby. Alrighty. There oh, we yeah. go. That's kind of crammed in there. Yeah, it's tight. It's a uh, original firewall, but that's uh, Chevy 350. You had to do some rerouting around on your steering column too. Got... Yeah, we played with the mounts a little bit too. <laughs> but, uh... I'll bet. Guaranteed power. Yeah, so she's just a crate engine, right? Yes, sir. That's the way to go. This is this is a sweet car. Thank I just, you very much. Truck, I guess I should say, but it's really a nice, and, and I love that you use it. Hey, thanks for bringing Thank it up. Thank you, Dennis. Beautiful. I'm honored. Thank Beautiful you. Beautiful ride, 37 Chev. Yes, sir. Rick, beautiful car. Actually, stately is a better term. A 48 Jag Mark IV, right? Mark IV, yeah. It, this is actually a drop head coupe. Drop right? head coupe. And this is almost an SS100. I mean, again, a really yes. classic nose. Very similar to the SS100. And the, the yep. louvers were that original. Kind of yeah, they all had louvers. Beautiful swooping fender that comes yep. down to a, a tapering running yep. board. Yep, and you of know. course the suicide doors. Oh, they're suicide. We oh, all know, you that. know, these are the oh, official, man. official suicide doors. So, Holy if you're cow. looking to do yourself in. This, this is the vehicle. This is the way to, to do it. This is the vehicle <laughs> to use. So. so you didn't. I mean, you haven't restored the interior. No, no those are the original seats. I did the carpets. Uh huh. And then how about on the steering wheel? Those are your trafficator controls. Oh, okay. On top. So that's gonna. And then high and low beam on the lower left. Is that right? Yeah, so it's high and low beam. So th these are called, I guess they're called Landau bars, right? Yep. But yeah. they're really they're really a hinge, right? It's really That's really a hinge. The... the whole top folds down. Was this uh, the this way it was? Yeah, this was all original. This is where your spare tire is. Oh, really? So you she just... spare right in there. Yep, pull it right out. Was. Very easy. Back in the day, and of course it's a Jag, so things do occasionally go wrong. But these came with their own tool kits. I mean, you could basically field strip this car. Yes, with you thing. can. You have the jack. This is the crank if the battery's dead. So you, you, Crank it, yep, and this is your tire pump. This is a grease gun. These, Dead blow hammer yep, for the, the knockoffs, knock right? These are the wrenches. Uh -huh. You can take apart every nut and bolt on the car. This would have had, this was before they were doing the dual overhead cam right. engines. This is probably push rod. a push rod engine. Yeah, old like push a, rod. Close this baby up and let's go yep. have a look at that. All right. 
old school hood. Boy, and that, you know, when you open up a Jag, that's not what you expect to see usually. No. You're going to see the dual overhead cam, you know, yep. inline yep. six, pushrod SU carbs. Yep, uh, an old generator. And, and it, this um, would be a positive ground system. Correct. And she's still positive ground? Still positive. Yeah, I yep. see her. Still positive. So, in general, how does she run? Runs great. Yeah. It really runs great. I mean, it's a little loose. I mean, the, the suspension sure. is an old style suspension. I love that you drive it. You've had it for 30 yep. years. It's a stately car. Like I yeah. said, man, you don't see them. Thanks for bringing it out. Thank you very much, Dennis. 1948 Thank Jag you. Mark IV Drophead Coupe. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> hey, the Father's Day car show on Hyannis Mass is an absolute blast. You always know when it's going to be. It's Father's Day, and Cape Cod's a nice place to come. Check this baby out.